I'm Shubha from Atlanta, USA. And uh, I've, been, I've worked as a account manager like around 12 plus years. And recently I quit my job and taking just a break, <laughs> kind of. So um, that is my background. I have a wonderful family as my son and husband. And with Swamiji's blessing, our life is so beautifully blossoming. Wow. <laughs> So how long have you been connected to Swamiji, Ma? Um, like uh, since 2009, I met Swamiji. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was my first experience. Uh, uh, magically, my uh, uh, Swamiji healed my leg pain. That is when I met Swamiji for the first time in US. So, uh, oh, so that's that, Swamiji yeah. was when he healed you. Yeah. Yes, Ma. That is how I was like deeply connected. Uh, and wow. Yeah, Paramashiva. <laughs> Can you share a little bit about that experience, Ma? Yes, Ma. Like, uh, it was like well, from 2002 till 2009, I was uh, going through a severe uh, foot pain. And mm -hmm. uh, I obviously, I took so many treatments here, but uh, still, uh, it was not at all uh, healing any any anyway getting better than that so that's when my Swam swamiji uh heard swamiji is in houston and my sister and brother are there in houston so uh, my brother wanted me to come there and my sister too so i just flew here therefore i attended two-day program so the first uh, day after the uh, end of the first period, first day we used to have the in, uh, individual darshan right so that's uh -huh. when i went to swamiji and said like i have this pain and it's not going off i took to so many treatments and then in, uh, in single touch you know he in the Anya wow. Chakra, you'll be healed don't worry <laughs> and wow. uh, it was in the later night usually the darshan comes in the late night right and uh, mm -hmm. immediately since the morning Early morning itself, I started seeing the difference. I was uh, able to. <laughs> so it was instant. It was instant. Wow. That's so, Swamiji's blessings. They're always, yeah. they'll always manifest instantly. It's like... In instantly, yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful, huh? Yeah. So since then, I, I know Swamiji is something not a not a human <laughs> body like me he paramashiva is, he is paramashiva <laughs> so wow. uh, yeah that was my first experience with swamiji and then uh, and and after a few months also he came in my dream and uh, healed my stomach pain that was like about uh, the pain was going on for like uh, almost co close to an year and Swamiji used to say, right, in satsang, we, we might have heard many times, like, uh, I won't uh, just uh, bless you or whatever you write and give the unsaid questions also, or <laughs> that is also wow. blessed. So likewise, like I went in uh, North Carolina once uh, for uh, attending the Kalpatro. It's a one-day program. Uh, I thought of asking healing for Swamiji, like a clean, uh -huh. healing for my stomach pain, but when I went near him, I felt like, come on, it is like so baby thing to ask uh, <laughs> such an avatar to heal my stomach pain. So I didn't ask, Ma, I didn't ask. And then uh -huh. he came back to Atlanta and then within a week, he came in my dream. Uh -huh. uh, still fresh, stays fresh in my mind. It's like around 2011, I believe. Oh. Uh, it's almost 10 years now, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> almost a decade ago. Yeah, wow. he came in my mind, uh, in my dream. It is a vision, obviously. Uh -huh. so he healed me the, in the dream. Until now, I didn't have that wow. pain even a single time. So, oh, my God. So literally <laughs> something you didn't even ask for. He knew. No. He, he came knew to it. you physically and, and healed you. Yeah. My, wow. So beautiful connection. <laughs> beautiful like, connection. Wow. Yeah. Such Gosh, it's so, like, so beautiful how he attends to all of the things that you've asked for, but even all the other things that you've not other asked for. Other things that we have asked. Yeah, I have not asked for it. Beautiful. Huh? So, so recently I heard you had an um, experience with um, your father where Swamiji had healed your father. Can you share a little yes, bit about that? Yes, ma. Like in 2020, early January, my dad got hospitalized hospitalized uh, he was mm -hmm. in icu so i was there with him that time and it was it is in india uh, in coimbatore mm -hmm. and um, 
I don't know. I have no clue what happened to him. It was just we went for a common checkup, but uh, uh, that turned into be a trauma for him. So, oh. so the Swamiji, because of Swamiji blessing, healing only, he is alive. So I'm um, oh. like each and every step he took care of uh, my dad and uh, my entire family so beautifully. Wow. <laughs> and so his healing them, was also instant, ma. Sorry, ma. His healing was also instantly? Um, yeah, he was gradually uh, getting better from ICU, but uh, uh-huh. he was he was taking care. I Even now, with the Swamiji blessing, only my dad is uh, uh, improving a lot in his health condition. Wow. Like one of the things I would like to share uh, here is like there are many miracles happened. It was like he was ha- hospitalized for about four months. Uh, uh-huh. Like every time it is some other miracle will be happening with Swamiji's wow. blessing. But one I would particularly want to say is um, uh, when I was in uh, in the room with my husband, when he shifted to the room, I was with mm-hmm. the, my dad and the doctor came for visit, regular visit. He'll come. He checked everything and he said like, yeah, he's all doing good, getting better. Everything is fine. And mm-hmm. uh, he went down and within a few minutes, the nurse came up to me and said, like, uh, the doctor is calling you to his uh, office. I uh, was like really shaken. What is wrong? <laughs> Just know he came and said everything is uh, sounds good. He's getting better. But I was like so much panic. And uh, uh, he, his office is in the downstairs, like in the second floor. And mm-hmm. I was like uh, literally holding this kandamala, like, Holding, <laughs> please run to me. I don't know what the doctor is going <laughs> to say. Yeah, it is. I was like literally re- holding tightly. Please, uh-huh. uh, literally run to me. I, I use. I'm a Tamilian, so I say like, "Odi vanga sami, please." <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, I don't want to hear anything from the doctor except he should ask about you. <laughs> and some any good news that's it i don't want to hear anything else from him uh-huh. so i was literally held, holding my kandamala and praying to uh-huh. swamiji and went to his office you know what ma exactly the doctor asked about swamiji <laughs> wow oh my god <laughs> yeah that was and, he didn't ask anything about uh, he didn't give you any about, bad news no anything bad news about my dad he said like your dad uh-huh. is really improving good as I help my Kandamala, whatever I asked, I only that two things happened. I asked, oh for one, yeah, asked Swamiji only two things. He said, like, you, he should ask about only you, Swamiji. And then he should share only good news about my dad. Only these wow. two. <laughs> exactly. Exactly these two that manifested. <laughs> that was so, uh, very particular one I would like to uh, That's share. a beautiful experience. Yeah. Yeah. He's such a compassionate. Each and every step, uh, Swamiji was with me when I was in the hospital with my dad. Uh, another thing I would like to share is um, uh, Swam- when I'm when my dad is in ICU, I was uh, in a different room, uh, staying in the mm-hmm. hospital itself. Uh, every time when I walk into the ICU, it is like a little uh, pathway that we have to walk mm-hmm. uh, a little long to reach into that room. So I used to have like, uh, you know, um, so much palpitation and my mm-hmm. stomach will be like doing something all nervous uh, related thing. Yes. Uh, and that day, particular night, I saw Swamiji in my dream. Uh, he was mm-hmm. walking near the building. And, mm-hmm. and then walking near the pathway, uh, entering into the ICU and standing near my dad's, uh, uh, near my wow. dad and touching my dad's head. Uh, that oh was I saw. Uh, I was like wondering, uh, when I wake up, I was like, oh, wow, Swamiji walked all these, these and the, the, the pathway also. And then stood Swami. I didn't realize what was the significance of that. But uh, when I wake up, I didn't realize what. So he, uh, all I knew is like he came and healed my dad. That was the only cognition wow. I had. Uh, but uh, the the main thing is when I leave my footwear, like in, in the ICU, we cannot uh, wear our uh, sand, and, uh, uh, slippers, uh, slippers. We cannot enter with our slippers. So uh, we have to leave the slipper in one place and walk. So that uh, walkway is like all the time was terrible for me. <laughs> but after the vision, when I walk on to the world, I felt like so much gratitude. I didn't uh, know Swamiji was walking all this way. 
he could have directly yeah when he is landing he can directly land near next Good. to my dad right it is <laughs> it is uh, so just to give me yeah sure. just yeah just to give me no you are my daughter i am walking <laughs> in this yeah. so that you could feel even the tiny bit he took care of me ma oh my gosh yes. even just that little is comfort yeah. or anxiety he heals yeah wow. he want to he want me to heal that also right so since yeah. then whenever i walk into that pathway i used to had tears or like uh, blissful i i did not had any the previous uh, nervous related emotions or anything else at all just remember yeah just remember the this is the pathway my swami ji walked how beautiful <laughs> it is right oh, wow so it became from something that was in uh, anxiety inducing to like something that brings so much of joy and yeah. remembering swami ji <laughs> yes ma wow, that was so beautiful yeah even tiny bit i wanted to share like even the tiny bit he took care of me even Absolutely. now even yeah <laughs> Thing, yeah. but you could you didn't even think to ask but <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> he took care of wow mom yeah. so how i mean this your father is in the, was in the hospital and he's come out of the icu now how has your experience been with swami ji during the pandemic you know there's so much of um like you said you were just anxious about walking to see your father and how you know having your parents i mean are they still in india now yes Yes. So I mean how has it been having that reassurance of having Swami ji in your life knowing that he's taking care and um attending to every small aspect even in such a crisis Yeah truly speaking ma honestly uh, I did not feel anything like this pandemic is happening <laughs> <laughs> So such a such, such a beautiful space uh, Swami ji has given uh, me and uh, of course to everyone wow. uh, uh i don't like feel like it, this whole uh, pandemic is going on uh, in the whole world um i because i feel he is always there within me uh <laughs> he is protecting me guiding me in every possible way so and he's physically showing you that too so. yeah exactly i have so many experience uh, <laughs> swami ji has given me so personally i feel like of course the world is going through whatever i can see it but uh, it is not uh, uh, affecting my inner space absolutely and so uh-huh. when you see this and your experience compared to so many other people's experience how does it make you feel for other people who don't have swamiji how why do you feel that swamiji is needed in every being's life whether you know they're hindu or they're not hindu or they're spiritual they're not spiritual especially at a time like this when such a huge crisis is going on why do you feel that swami ji is the one who can bring everyone out of that yes ma because i have my personal experience i feel like uh, any human being if you are born uh, as a human being it's swami ji's presence in the life is really mandatory i would say it is not required because so much beautiful <laughs> exactly <laughs> so much uh, my life has transformed so much so beautifully before i see swami ji and after uh, after 2009 i could not even think like how i used to be in uh, before uh, uh, swami ji that that memory is like i almost erased kind of <laughs> <laughs> even if there is anything little bit hanging over i am not uh, having any impact in my inner space so uh-huh. the life i'm seeing um right now is so different uh, whatever it happens it Absolutely. is swami ji is there and it and his teachings are really uh, giving me strength and the powerfulness wow. and courage to face what everything is auspicious what swami ji exactly. is here. yeah so it, these are the things that we have to as a human being we have to live the truth that swami ji is saying and mm-hmm. and achieve the enlightenment or mukti uh, you know so th- absolutely yeah it's a, actually what you perfectly said like how your life has transformed so much and how so much of you your old self you don't even remember because swami just giving you so much of security and um right. attend to you in every possible way it's like right. the old you that 
anxiety or that fear that you might have had previously you don't even remember that person yeah. anymore <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's so That's beautiful true. so why we don't need to live in pain and suffering right it's Absolutely. a beautiful life to enjoy human body Absolutely. is such a blessed uh, um, you know um, plus to take Absolutely. like that uh-huh. is the ultimate uh, birth uh to have an enlightenment right possibility is there only in human body form mm, so why to live in a pain and suffering better like exactly. uh, yeah as mommy ji says everyone are parameshiva we live we can live yeah, beautifully experience. right yeah yes peacefully absolutely and like the only way is when people wake up and realize that mommy ji is the only one who can guide them through that and give them that experience and bring them out especially any crisis that they might be going through right ma yes ma and especially in this pandemic so beautifully swami ji is giving uh, us devi parashakti uh, akashic reading darshan he is attending to day in and day out he's there yeah. absolutely <laughs> so much he is and it's so beautiful exactly even like for people who are not devotees or disciples or followers or anything he's still right. opening himself yeah. up literally anyone can ask any anyone. question they want yeah no matter what uh, he is answering for the questions and opening up like india is so much going through with this pandemic now mm-hmm. and swami ji has opened every ashram in his uh, in india for everyone Absolutely. every single person exactly right whether you are a devotee or non devotee doesn't matter yeah right it's just so an infinite much. compassion yes exactly ma so much compassion though so many people abused him what not mm-hmm. he went through so much in india but still the compassion yes it's exactly he's the only one who really yeah exactly <laughs> he's the only one who really able to stand for people and bring them out exactly. of this exactly yeah the huge that is happening right yeah <laughs> Beautiful, wonderful thank man. you so, so much nice to have thank you ma <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for having yes, me yes ma <laughs> thank you so much for joining us ma it's really beautiful sharing you had today thank i think you. a lot of viewers would have connected with your experiences especially hearing all not just recently but from 2009 you've had so many beautiful healing experiences so many ma so many <laughs> <laughs> and personally it's how swami ji's attended to you right <laughs> That's I feel so ma. blessed Thank to you. have Swami yes, Ji. Ma. Well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Ma. Nityananda. Thank you, Ma. Nityananda.